All right, so here's how you create a restaurant proposal with the software that I'm using. It's called Clean Proposals. All right, so we'll say rest. Don't know if I spelled that right. Commercial, obviously. And then we'll just pick the facility type, which is dining. And I don't know how often you're doing it, but we'll just say five days a week. Click add proposal. And then from there, the software loads all of the cleaning tasks and areas for you. All you have to do is just pick the areas that apply, right? So you know, obviously hard floors and then all the cleaning tasks. If you just click right here, all the cleaning tasks are inside of each one of these area cards. So you would have to do the same here. Just, you know, pick the areas that apply to you. You can customize it, save changes if you want. And if you don't want it in the, in the, um, the proposal, just deselect it. You can change the frequency. You can add your own cleaning tasks. You can upload photos and notes. And if you are walking through the building for the first time, this is actually a progressive web app. And what you would notice here is this is what it would look like if you were using it on a mobile device. So just click on the areas that apply and I'll go ahead and build this out for you and uh, give you a copy if you'd like. So obviously there's dining areas, right? Maybe not an elevator, possibly a manager's office is, uh, in the back. So we'll check in closed office, hard floor. Always, probably. All right, so I went through and selected many of the areas that might be in your proposal. I'm going to jump back to desktop view just so that you can see it a little easier. But it works really well through the uh, walkthrough. You just take photos and notes and have it organized by area as well. All right, so I've got all those, and we'll go to the next step, which are projects. And hopefully you've got some floor care in there because restaurant cleaning is not easy. All right. So we'll just say the whole building, hopefully more than once a month, but at least monthly. And perhaps you want to do probably window cleaning. I'll go ahead and throw that in there for you as well. So I'll add another one and we'll say interior, exterior windows whole building maybe once a quarter or something like that all right so let's add that same thing with here you can add photos and notes that you can add to the proposal if you'd like and then all the cleaning tasks are written out for you technician will perform pre-work inspection to gather photo documentation identify potential challenges and address expected outcomes etc cetera, etc cetera. if you don't like it get rid of it or edit it okay and then in the calculator this is pretty robust here you can cost out different labor types at different rates of pay. So let's say we've got one person making $15 an hour, five hours, five times a week. The software then tells you your cost per clean, your annual cost for this employee, and your monthly costs, okay? I always do three different types of labor at a minimum here. I'll show you why. So let's just add another one. I always have trainers and I have inspectors. So let's say you want the trainer making a little bit more money. And I always train three days on the job. So I'll take the three days by the number of hours they're working. So in this case, it's five hours. So I'm gonna say 15 hours of training every once per quarter. The reason why I've always factored this in is because we, we work in a high turnover industry. So if you start to build that into your proposals every time, even if they don't turn over, at least you have the, the margins available for a trainer. Because if you're doing the training yourself, if you wanna scale, eventually you're gonna need a trainer to do that for you. So I always recommend charging, even if you don't have the staff for a training right now, or if you're not big enough to hire a trainer, always still include it in there. And then lastly, I always have an inspector. So, We'll say we'll do 20 bucks an hour for them if we wanted to. And we'll do one hour 
in a restaurant, I would do at least once a week. In my commercial office buildings, I do at least once a month. Again, cost per clean, annual, and monthly costs. We'll add that. And then we're going to add additional expenses. So we'll just say cleaning supplies, 100 bucks a month. And then I always include a tech fee. So this is for you know the, those who have to reimburse cell phones or use software like Clean Proposals. You always want to pass on or you know inspection software, invoicing, bookkeeping, whatever whatever cost you have, you want to pass that on to the customer. And I always like to operate at 30 percent. And some of you live in states where you have to add sales tax to your labor. You can do that here. Some of you don't. So I'll just say you don't. The software then gives you what you're charging per month. And then it also tells you the dollar amount that you're going to be making on that. Now, if you don't want to just do a margin, let's say you think, you know what, that's too low. I think I can make 1500 bucks on this client. Then the software will tell you what your margin percentage is. So you can either do the dollar amount or you can do the margin and you still get accurate information. And then over here, if you enter the square footage, it then tells you what you're charging per square foot. And this is a really important feature of the software because if you know what your market is bearing, you know, for cleanable square footage, then you have an idea if you're competitive or if you're underpricing or if you're way overpricing. So this is a really cool feature of the software that I like. And then we go to the final step, which has the legal agreement as well as the uh, ability to pick proposal themes. So I'll show you what that looks like here. So we click on the theme picker and then you can scroll through and pick from one of 25 professionally designed themes. All right. So let's go with, go with this one. And you can upload your own logo and your own slogan. And just look at this beautiful proposal. It comes with the cover letter, complete legal agreement, compensation layout, what you're charging for the services, and everything is completely customizable. But down here in your, your exhibits, this is what the scope of services looks like, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you get these area stats up here from the walkthrough. So you're counting the rooms as you're walking through. And look how detailed this, this scope is. I think it's pretty cool. And that is it for creating a restaurant proposal. Actually, you can create any type of proposal with this. It has over 20 different building types. So hope you enjoyed.